Hi and welcome to the SharePoint Search Video Series Overview. This video should give you an introduction to all of the videos in the SharePoint Search Video Series and help you to decide which videos are best for you to watch to understand SharePoint Search. My name is Robert Pinnock and I'm Senior Technical Lead at Surfray. Uh, I'm also author of Pro SharePoint 2010 Search and co-author of Working with Fast Search Server for SharePoint. Uh, I can be con contacted at rcp at surfray.com or on Twitter at rpidoc. I'm here with my colleague and good friend Josh Noble who will also be presenting many of the videos in this series. Josh, would you like to introduce yourself please? Yeah, thanks, Robert. Uh, again, my name's Josh Noble, and I'm Senior Search Consultant with Surfray over here stateside. I've also co-authored the book Pro SharePoint 2010 Search with, uh, with Robert as well. My email is jno at surfray.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at spsearchwizard. So we've broken this video series into some logical chunks. The first thing we're going to get into is various different introduction and planning videos. So we're going to set the groundwork with some key terms that you need to know throughout the various different videos. We're going to look at the various different Microsoft search plat platforms that you have uh, available to you, whether that's Search Server, Search Exp Express, Fast, SharePoint 2010. We're going to then look at search architecture and scaling and then s get some planning items out of the way. After that, um, we will have several videos on search setup and deployment. The first short video will be about how to install the Adobe PDF iFilter in SharePoint 2010 Search and uh, index PDF documents with uh, SharePoint. Then we'll look at setting up federated search content sources and displaying those in your uh, search interface. Creating document library columns for metadata collection, so that's an uh, important one for managing uh, custom properties in SharePoint. Then we'll show how to map those managed properties for use in search and also how to work with search scopes so we can uh, separate the search results into different scopes. And finally there's a video on deploying and redirecting to a new search center in uh, SharePoint search. Then we're going to jump into the front end of search. We're going to look at the search center web parts and how to configure various different things there. So we're going to manipulate the search refiners. We're going to increase the accuracy index, display counts. We're going to add new search refiners. We're going to look at how to edit the search core results properties. And then we'll dive into the advanced search page. We'll look at how to add scopes, uh, how to add new result types, how to add new property restrictions. And then finally, we'll go back to the search core results web part uh, to add ratings. Great. And finally, our last section is, our, is about improvements and extensions. So the first topic is about understanding search analytics and how search analytics can help you to improve search. And then we'll look at uh, search relevancy and the relevancy algorithms built in to SharePoint 2010 search and how we can adjust those. And finally, extending SharePoint search with third-party add-ons. What add-ons are available and what value they can bring to your search deployment. And with that, we welcome you to the SharePoint search video series on SharePointVideos.com. We hope you enjoy.